Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well this Thursday morning. It is episode 76 of the Note Closer Show. And I thought today I would talk about something we haven't talked about in a while. Uh, I know we talk about marketing on a regular basis, but what I thought I would do is literally run a case study here for you over the next seven days, all right? Between what we do with this video and how we attract marketing, how we attract content, how we attract people to um, what we do. Now, yes, I know, We Close Notes has been around for a while, Scott's got a big 200,000 person database, plus you know so many contacts on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff, but what I really wanna do with you guys is give you kind of the groundwork of the skeleton, the foundation, of what I started doing when I was brand new at marketing. What I started doing on a regular basis. Because that is what marketing is all about. It's doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. A little LL Cool J there for you this morning. Uh, stuff. So uh, you guys have probably heard me uh, have Chase Thompson uh, talk about the content spider. So what I thought I would do is give you my content spider and the eight or nine things that we do on a regular basis here, we tweak things up, uh, things that I have done over the last couple years to help me to get where I was, to uh, where I am, and where I'll be in a year, two years from now. Now, a little background, I believe video is one of the best things that you can do. And so I'll go through a couple things. Besides just doing a Facebook uh, live stream like this, we'll go through another couple options that we do with video um, and give you also some great examples of people who are doing some great videos as well on a semi-regular basis, okay? So, uh, the first and foremost thing is you wanna write this stuff down, all right? If you can, take some notes, grab you a piece of paper, you know, an envelope, <laughs> something to write on, because this is really important. This is what drives traffic to us. This is what drives people coming this was drives investors and the reason I'm bringing this up in the in literally the last three days I have answered at least a dozen if not more posts on bigger pockets posts on my Facebook page or if not phone calls from people talking about note investing and they all have the preconceived notion that they're gonna use just their money their 50 grand they've got saved their 200 grand they've got in their 401k and that's great, they've worked hard to have that money there, but that's not the end all be all. You have to get beyond the point of using your own funds to make this happen. Um, I had one guy that got an argument, well I don't need to learn how to market for money because I have some money. I'm like, you're not only gonna buy $200,000, $250,000 worth of assets. You gotta get beyond that, you gotta think bigger in this picture. And this is what the content spider, as Chase likes to talk about, um, I've been doing this stuff for years and then when Chase started talking about this uh, what, two years ago. I was like, oh, that's exactly what it is. I mean, a lot of you are fa uh, fans of Gary Vaynerchuk, who does a lot of the social media stuff. He's an expert uh, at basically, he, he really focuses on like three to four prongs off his main content. Well, if you're in business as an entrepreneur and you don't have the Gary V's with a million followers on one platform, you've got to cross pollinate a little bit, but you can use the same content to make things happen, okay? So I don't want you to think you're gonna go out and create nine, 10 different things. This is all stuff that can be done relatively quickly, relatively easy, and relatively very inexpensive for each and every one. So one of the videos that I think most people need to start off with, okay? This is a very simple video thing. And it's literally taking a PowerPoint presentation, 10 slides, PowerPoint presentation, okay? and doing a webinar, doing a go-to webinar. Now I know what you'll say, Scott, I don't have a big following. I don't care if you don't have a following. I don't care if you have one person, and it's your mom that gets on the webinar. The go-to webinar feature allows for you to record your webinar. It also allows you to practice at your craft, it allows you to practice at your storytelling. Now, I'm not saying you need 40 slides. A very simple 30 minute presentation 
is basically 10 to 15 slides. And if you use the 10, 20, 30 method of PowerPoint presentations, 10 slides, which will equal 20 minutes roughly in 30 point font. You wanna be at 30 point font with the wording. Now, really simple, do not use a white PowerPoint slide. Don't use the, the automated formats. Use a, a solid color. Blue's a really good one. Lettering in white so it pops. All right. And like I said, 10 slides. First slide's gonna be your logo. Last slide's gonna be your contact information. The eight slides in between should be one, should be a little about who you are your, and your history as a real estate investor. Um, the second slide should talk about, about your, your, your goal for the webinar. And then your third slide, <clears throat> or really your fourth slide, if you figure your fourth slide because you have your face, you know, image, uh, who you are, your goals. So your fourth slide is starting to get into deals. Now, one of the great things you can go to get deals in, in, with photos, you could go to FCI Exchange, you could go to Watermark Exchange and pull photos of assets off of the slides. You could jump on our note funding link the next time we have a list of assets and pull some photos from those and use those to market as your deal flow. Talk a little about what you're doing, talk about note investing and then give some case studies. Everybody loves three to four case studies and that's your 10 slides. That's literally a very simple PowerPoint presentation you put together. So do the 10, 20, 30. <clears throat> Go to webinars basically free for the first month, okay? Uh, 100 bucks roughly if you need to do that any further. But you record a webinar, you do it over lunchtime, a lunch and learn, okay? Send an email out to your database, post to Facebook. We're not gonna talk about the pre-marketing, we're gonna talk about the after marketing for the most part. Because if you're brand new, you're not gonna have a big database initially. And that's okay, it's quite okay. We're gonna show you how to drive traffic to what you're doing for future webinars future videos, future marketing, okay? So you do your, your, your video on uh, GoToWebinar. When you do it on GoToWebinar, it'll record it. You wanna make sure you have good sound in a quiet spot, but you've got your, your PowerPoint presentation, okay? And your video. This is your most important thing, right? It's your video. And do not be worried, don't worry, if you have nobody that shows up. Use the opportunity to record and practice. If you gotta record it once at night by yourself because you're afraid people are gonna ask questions, that's fine. Record it by yourself just to get a good, clear video, and it's okay uh, to do it once or twice. Get it down. I know I did my first webinar twice. The first time I couldn't get the freaking video, the audio to work because I didn't know how to do it. So I went through my whole presentation and didn't share my screen, <laughs> okay? You're gonna make mistakes. It's okay though, but this is so valuable for you. If you've never closed a deal, this can really help get people taking a look at what you're doing. So, you got your video, 10 slides, 20 minutes, 30 point font. It's maybe 30 minutes because you're probably gonna have a few questions from some people on there if you do it live, okay? So now, that's a video. Now what do you do with that video? Well, you send it out to YouTube. Okay? YouTube's the second largest search engine out there. A couple things that you wanna post to YouTube is you wanna make sure put keywords, tags in that stuff. You also, in your description, all right, maybe you put in three uh, non-performing note deals, case studies, something similar like that, five deals, note deals in Florida, something generic like that, so that when somebody's searching in YouTube for non-performing notes, it pulls up your video, okay? You may even wanna use the tags of Scott Carson, Eddie Speed, Donna Bauer, um, Troy Fullwood, put those tags in your tag area there because it'll draw content, it'll also draw traffic from us who have a big following, it'll pop up in our search feeds when people are looking for videos for us, it helps you, okay? Now, another thing you wanna do before you probably really post to YouTube, you wanna go and create a photo, all right? And you use Instagram to post your photo of your PowerPoint. Now, the biggest thing is you can go to Canva and create a really nice image, very relatively inexpensive. A lot of times the videos we create are free, or the pictures we create are free, or it's a buck. If we download a good template or things like that. So a buck for a great photo is well worth it, okay? Now, the thing about your photo you're creating, this is gonna become your thumbnail, okay? That you use for YouTube. 
It's a thumbnail that shows up. So you want it to look like nice. Maybe it's got to have your face on there, smile photo. Uh, maybe use a slide from your PowerPoint thing with the image and then also say, hey, our, our four case studies for March or four case study, four non-performing case studies for Chandler and Financial Associates, something like that, okay? Very, very simple. Now, the good thing is you've got this video, this webinar you created that's now a video. Now you want to go out and send that video to a website called Rev. Now, Rev.com will transcribe your video word for word into a Word document for you. 20 minute video will cost you 20 bucks. Okay? Seriously, 20 minute video will cost you 20 bucks for them to transcribe. It's a dollar a minute. Okay? So, what do you do now? Well, once you get that rev back, you go back to YouTube and you copy it and edit, take a look at it, edit it real fastly, and you copy the description back into the full description of the YouTube. Now you have the written word in below your YouTube video. So, if people want to read it versus watch it, they can, okay? Now, what you also do, though, is you're going to create a blog, okay? So, a couple of things about that blog. <clears throat> you can use Hub Pages, Blogger. Uh, I like using Active Rain. Because you're going to use Active Rain to pull comps, find realtors and areas. And the more content you have on there, the more responsive the realtors are to you. Now, you can also <clears throat> uh, post it on another blogging website, whatever you wanted to. Can I post to LinkedIn? They can use it on LinkedIn. I'll get to that in a second. Yes, that's a great, great point. Now, that's where you could also, you must be reading my mind. And no, you're good. You could do this as a LinkedIn blog. Okay. You have a great image you've already created, which is your header. You've got the content, and then you put you put the video in there. This is a really strong piece to put on LinkedIn. Okay, your LinkedIn blog, which includes the video, the rev. It also includes your photo over here. Okay, boom. Why do you want to put it on LinkedIn? Because there's 145,000 real estate investors on LinkedIn. Okay, now you want to have your blog. Very simple, so people can tra track it down. You want the picture to look nice as they're scrolling through their profiles. You also want to put some tags at the bottom. Real estate investing, non-performing notes, investments, SDRA as your tags at the bottom of your uh, LinkedIn blog. Okay. Now, this becomes something now that you can share across other areas. Now you can share it to, say, Facebook. All right. A video you can upload to Facebook, but I would just do it when you got a really solid LinkedIn article there. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I've got some websites over here. I don't think you can see if it's off the screen. See if, can... if it's off the screen, don't touch don't, oh, don't them. Okay. So we covered that, covered that, covered that. Okay. Back to this. You could also, if you like Twitter, you could also send it to Twitter. Okay? Now, I would also make sure you've got enough room. So you use the hashtag real estate with your title. That's why you don't want your uh, title to be too long. Uh, check out my blog on the five non-performing case studies, hashtag real estate, hashtag invest me, okay? And post that to Twitter. You're not going to get a lot of Twitter followers immediately off of this, but this is something you could post three times, morning, noon, and evening for a while to drive some people to follow you, okay? Now, what's really nice is I would take the same blog over here, And post it to bigger pockets. Probably have to do this in the marketplace um, because bigger pockets gets upset if you do any type of self promotion. Okay, now you can say, "Hey, I'm doing some case studies. Here's the article on it. Here's my video on it." Sometimes they'll let you do it. Sometimes they won't. So I would first post it in your traditional conversations. If that doesn't work, then go post it in the marketplace. And what's great is you'll be able to identify, people will automatically see that and start connecting with you. I think BiggerPocket is a really great website for every note investor out there because it's a really easy way to grow your database and expand. Wayne Snell is a great example. Uh, he just did a short webinar that he did this whole basic thing on it. He did a webinar, 
recorded it, uploaded to YouTube, and he's been religiously talking with people. Anybody who comments my notes, hey, I filmed a short video on what we do. Hey, I filmed a short video on what you would do. So I reached out to Wayne and said, hey, man, how's it going? Are you trying to teach people how to do this? Or are you just trying to opportunities? No, I don't want to teach people, but we are raising quite a bit of capital with it. Okay, so it's a great thing. Okay, now um, this works out really well because you've got a, a nice piece of content here. Here's my blog on LinkedIn. Here's my blog on Bigger Pockets. Okay, now what this all comes down to is a couple things. One is if you've got your PowerPoint, going back to your PowerPoint, and we're going to over here to LinkedIn, you can upload your PowerPoint and the Rev. To SlideShare. And SlideShare will allow you to set up where you can actually have people opt in to follow you. And that's kind of a cool thing. We upload quite a few of our presentations to SlideShare and share those with individuals so that they can, you know, take my PowerPoint and use it and uh, you know, use it as an example for them. They can download and follow along as well. But with the description, I put the description in there. And like I said, um, a 20 minute video. Maybe about 3,000 words. Seven minute video is usually about 1,000, 1,100. It's about fast you speak. If you slow it down a little bit, avoid the coffee and the Red Bull, <laughs> you'll speak a little bit slower. If you're like Chase, you'll rattle off, get like 10,000 words in a minute. Okay? Mm -hmm. But that also leads us to the one most important thing. And this is your email database. All right? Hey, check out this blog I just put together. Check out this article that I just put together. Okay? One of the things that you could do is if you see articles on DS News or Housing Wire, you could have a little bit of a note. Adam Adams is really good at this. Um, we're good? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he shares them across his different uh, Facebook pages, but it would be really cool if he filmed a short little video, maybe a week in review, because he posts four or five great articles each week in Friday, a Friday review where he does a short little video. Hey, here's what I think about these articles. Here's the five. Here's my opinion of how it's affecting the market and go from there. So, but this is ultimately sending an email to your database and hopefully people, whether it's through Instagram, through bigger pockets, through Twitter and Facebook. Okay. Through active rain, through LinkedIn, LinkedIn will connect with you. So you can export a context. They all, opt in to your website or they opt in to your email database because that's ultimately what you want to do to grow okay now you've built some content create some great content you've built a little bit of a, a following now if you do it again it gets easier if you do it the third time it grows exponentially okay you'll also get better at your craft and if you do something regularly once a week, I wouldn't say do it Monday night at 7 o'clock. Somebody's got that kind of hand packed down. But there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of lunch and learns you could do. There's a lot of Friday fun days or other things that you could do in your business to make things happen. And working on a PowerPoint is something you can do at late at night. If you're working at a job and you're waiting for a ride, you could do your PowerPoint there. You could work through some great things very simply enough. To do this, you can record your webinar at night if you work a full time job and then still upload it and roll it all out later on for you. So you don't have to worry about doing this at prime time um, as well, you know, like five o'clock or 10 o'clock or whatever. You can this is something you can record and then roll it all out for content. So, do we have any questions from people, any comments from people on this? Um, Ryan Roche, I don't know if this is a suggestion or a question. He says, earn 10% annual uh, return on your RRI, ask me how presentation. Either he's going to do it or he's asking you to do it, I'm not sure. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily go that route as your first one. Uh, I, I think he's asking, hey, here's how to get 10% in your IRA. Uh, you could, it may be something you do second or third one. But I wouldn't come out the, the, the gates blazing with it. I would talk a little bit more about your business. Don't be so pitchy. It's okay to provide content. Educate your clients oh, a little bit. It's a suggestion. It's a suggestion. Yeah, yeah you, you, like, like for you to do it, I think. Oh, no. I have a different way of doing things. I mean, I, I've got some aspect of that, but I, I um, no, I've got a different way of doing things. Um, how to, get, how to get, put, get above average returns is one thing you do, but it's too, there's too many of those out there. I'd rather set myself apart with deal flow because that's what investors want to see.
okay? Investors want to see deals. They don't want to see theory. Hey, you're great, awesome, I have enough theory. Everybody's pitching me a return. Give me something I can sink my teeth into, okay? Oh, I have a couple shout outs. Um, so Stacey and Karen Wall from Bike Homes, they do a really great job on their dining room talks on their yeah. YouTube. And then... Um, well, let's cover that. They do a great job. Yeah. So they do a great job of the video. Mm -hmm. They just need to probably start transcribing it one more so it becomes written. I think they did in their last they, email. Oh, they did that they last did, one? Did, okay. Did I missed that last one. Yeah. And then we, me and Greg were scrolling through Instagram and Howard, I'm sorry, I don't know his last oh, name. Oh, Howard Marcel. Yeah. He had a great Instagram post. He did. On video. his video. Yeah. And he did it He did it in English and in Spanish, which is like kind of cool. Howard did a really good job. Exactly. With a white background. Mm -hmm. It was very simple. Mm -hmm. Image. He talks about what he did, what exactly. he is, and what he does. And English, Spanish, and Instagram I saw on Facebook, too. Yeah. Howard did a great job with they that. Did a really good job. Exactly. Victor Manuel uh, out of Indiana has done that a couple times, too, with video stuff. Who else are you going to give a shout-out to? Anybody else? Um, who was that man that did the property in Florida that we, we shot out in a long time? Like oh, yeah. a while Clint. Back? Clinton. Clinton did a really Clinton, good job. Yeah. I got to talk to him today. Yeah. Clinton did a really good job with a, a long, uh, about a 15-minute video going through a case study. And hopefully he transcribed the video. I didn't see if he did, but he did a really great video. Spent a little money on Fiverr to get somebody to edit it for him and help him out with some of the things. And he really did a really great job with it. So kudos to Clint. We end up helping him get about a thousand views off the video. Cody Cox does the, the weekly video or yeah. weekly uh, email, and he'll get 700 to a thousand followers to, to start following that stuff as well. He's been doing it for a little while. He's been doing it regularly every Sunday for at least three or four months now, starting to pay off for him. And Cody gets kind of swamped. Cody still works a full-time job. So sometimes that's his only bit of marketing because he's busy, um, not only with that, but with family. And so it's harder sometimes for him to get other stuff out. I know he. we were talking a little bit last night, back and forth via text message and stuff like that, and he's like, oh, I'm stuck at work. I'm like, listen, hey, if you got a little bit of downtime, go down to the coffee shop and work for an hour or two or something. That'll give you, while you're waiting on your ride, or if you miss the train, that's the best thing. If you work full time, you've got to fill in, learn to fill in those cracks that you have in your schedule with content. Like seven, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m.? Yep, like 7 to 2. That's what Gary Vee likes to say. You're always from 7 to 2. Well, if you only have from 10 to 2, maybe you guys, it's 10 to midnight, spend a little time going through stuff. Um, I, and one thing, too, I want to make sure and clarify you're not going to have overnight success. So be patient. Give yourself permission to goof up on some of this stuff. All right. I had six phone calls. People like, hey, Scott, we like your videos because you're just your normal self. If I goof up, I make I make fun of myself. I laugh at myself. I stutter. We dress funny. I, I dress no, no, funny. No, no, like, what? No, no, like on like St. Patrick's Day. We're oh yeah, yeah. Green yeah. and like. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm not afraid I'm to. Like dress yeah, if they can do a scan of your toys in your office. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah my office is kind of clouded right now. I need to kind of take some stuff home. <laughs> But we have, it is kind of looks like, a, you're right, you're, you're totally right. I've got different props, I've got books, I've got hats, I've got flags, I've got cash guns, I've got noisemakers. It makes me laugh, and that's all I care about half the time. So what else do we have? Any other questions? Comments? It gives a crap what you look like. Oh. Okay? I hear this all the time. I hear this all the time. And George, actually, George, you would have an easier time raising capital than I would because you have a little bit more seasoning to your face, okay? When people first see this young looking buck with a short military style cut, they don't always trust me. You have a great face. You don't have a face for radio. You got a great face, all right? Puts people at ease, all right? Ladies, nobody cares what you look like. Well, they do care what you look like, but they don't, you don't have to be perfect. I had a conversation with Michelle Hill who's at the beach with this gorgeous view in Hawaii. I'm like, just turn a camera around and show the beach and talk. Or show, hey, here, I'm living here, my hair's not perfect, but we're having a great time. This has all been paid for with notes, you know? It's okay, you don't have to be perfect. Don't have to be a model. You don't have to be Claudia Schiffer up here, you know, I'm talking about, you know, or Cindy Crawford, you know, my mole right here, you know? You, don't eat while you're doing it. Yes, don't eat while you're talking. But realize people aren't coming to you for this. They're not, well, I don't know. I've had some stalkers. But anyway, <laughs> people are coming to you, your tribe, the people that know you, trust you, that follow you, that start to follow you, are coming to you for your content. Not 
Ooh, the Playboy, Playboy after hours, or Playgirl, whatever. All right. What are the questions, comments, head shaking are we getting from people? Uh, Jerry Vega. It's, yeah. He says that's one ugly polo shirt. <laughs> oh, that's because he's a he's a Dodgers fan, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I when what when you get three rings in five years, you can wear ugly shirts too, Shots Jerry Vega. Fired. Yeah, it's baseball <laughs> season, dude. Don't even start. But yeah, that's that's it. For that's now. it. All right, guys. So one of the things that we will do is with this video is we'll roll this out. So I'm going to share with you. We need to keep a track. So you want to write this down. Anyway, we want to have the number of viewers on Facebook Live from this, number of viewers. We'll also see how many people read the blog, because we'll put this into a blog on LinkedIn. LinkedIn will share with us how many people actually watch this. We'll also put an Instagram post out, feeding people to it. We'll see how many people read on Active Rain, Bigger Pockets, and all that good stuff. So we'll literally give you a step-by-step -step to say how many hits we have by next Thursday. Okay, everybody? Yeah, case study. Yeah, it's a case study. A case study for you. So, but anyway, guys, go do something. This is not difficult. Um, we're talking a couple hours to really put this together for you. It's probably gonna take the longest time on your PowerPoint. If you don't, if you struggle with PowerPoint, then do a video. If you struggle with video, do a PowerPoint. Okay. Um, a lot of us want to write blogs, but we're like, I got writer's block right off the bat. So do a video and just record. Uh, you literally record yourself talking. Like I had to write a chapter in a book that I'm a part of. A hundred, hundred chapters, hundred entrepreneurs with hundred business advice book that I'm a part of. So what I did, I got on GoToWebinar and I just turned it on and I re they recorded me going through my best advice to entrepreneurs. It was a seven minute video. I sent it to Rev, $7.65 later, I've got a written Word document. I take a few minutes to edit it, bam, send it in. It is done, a thousand words. For my chapter literally less than an hour of time i know i'm a little bit more polished because i've done this a lot more than most people you're going to struggle at first it's okay be yourself don't be afraid to fail but do something to help you market your content and before too long you'll spin a marketing web that even the biggest spider will be jealous of so with that everybody uh if there's no other questions or comments we're going to wrap it up for the day Go do something. Um, let me know if you're going to do something. If you're going to record a video, a webinar, stuff like that, feel free to share below. Send me a message. We'd be glad to help promote it out for you guys as well. So otherwise, have a great Thursday. Go get something done, and we'll see you all at the top.